Hi everybody, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com with a dual case break, a double header of 2022 Tops Tier 1 Baseball. This is a random team break number four. A lot of great stuff here, a lot of autos, a lot of relics, and a, and a lot of big hit possibilities as well. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate the people who bought spots straight up. And we only had to do one filler. We, had, we were able to cancel one because those full spots were moving pretty swiftly. Congrats to the people who won spots as well. Jeremy, pretty excited that he got the official last ball mojo, and he's also last on the list right here as well from a spot that he won. All 30 teams are in. Let's go. Let's roll it. Randomized names and teams. Three and a one four times. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. After four, we got Martin on the pole down to Travis in the 30 spot. Three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one, fourth and final time. After four, we got the Oakland A's down to the Twins. All right, here we go, Martin. You got the A's and the Braves. Travis with the Red Sox, Chris with the White Sox. Martin with the Tigers, Anthony with the Cubs, Travis with the Giants, Karen with the Mets, Martin with the Blue Jays. Justin Martin with the Angels. Artie Moreno is gonna sell that team, looks like. Jeremy with the Yankees, Martin with the Padres, Justin with the Brewers, Jeremy with the Orioles. Travis with the Cardinals, Chad with the Phillies, Nestor with the Rockies, Adam, you got my Dodgers, Nestor with the Royals, Andy with the Pirates, Matthew with the Nats, Martin with the Marlins, Rob with the Rays, Martin with the Mariners and the Astros, Rob with the Diamondbacks, Martin with the Reds, Adam with the Rangers, Jeremy with the Guardians, and Travis with the Minnesota Twins. It's alphabetized by team. We're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. Stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done, so that list that you saw is now officially printed out and remains the same. Thanks for uh, hanging with me on a Tuesday. A true Tuesday on the 23rd of August, 2022. Here's the first case right here. Second case is off to my right right here. A dual case break. Now, if you miss out on this one, don't miss out on the next one. We got another dual case break. Random team up. Got a couple of fillers for that as well. So we got full spots available. And if you want to try to win spots, we got that available as well in those fillers. Good luck, everybody. We've got two autographs and one relic card inside. Sometimes we'll get an extra relic. Every once in a while, we'll get an extra relic. Uh, like this one. Got two relics. Got the hit and the redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? All right, first one out of the gate is 108 at 399, Matt Olson. Oakland A's, Martin with the A's. Three twenty one at three ninety nine, Kike Hernandez. That'll be for the Red Sox. That's going to go to Travis. Chad guessing Julio Rodriguez. Good guess. That'd be nice. First auto is Emmanuel Rivera, 21 out of 299 for the Royals. Nestor with KC. And the redemption. Congratulations, someone. You are due to receive a triple autograph. Wow. 
Is it one team or is it going to be a randomizer? B, Baltimore, Boston. Those are the only B teams. O, Boston. Wow. Triple autograph, all for the Red Sox. Pedro Martinez, newly minted Hall of Famer, David Ortiz, Big Boppy, and Tech, Jason Veritek. And that's for Travis and the Red Sox. That's with the spot that he won in the filler. <laughs> yeah, that's a question I like to ask. Uh, Who's holding this redemption up? Who, who do you think is holding this redemption up? I feel like we've seen Pedro autographs. And I feel like David Ortiz generally signs pretty often. Yeah, Chad, I agree with you. I think it might be, might be Tech holding things up on that. Hey, Jeremy, congrats. Nice triple relic. Or nice triple auto, that is. All right, great start. There's more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, another extra relic. I'll take it. I'll take extra hits. We got Giancarlo Stan, 90 out of 399. It's Jeremy with the Yankees. We got Tyler O'Neill, a ton. That's what his autograph looks like. 322 out of 349. Just his game used jersey though here. That's for Travis M. Got a Travis A and a Travis M. A Travis M with the St. Louis Cardinals. Your two autographs. First one, Corbin Burns. 208 out of 299. Tier one talent for the Brew Crew. Justin with the Brewers. Dodgers getting shut down by Eric Leal last night of the Brewers. I think they're, what time is that game tonight? Uh, it's 7-10, and Corbin Burns on the mound today. He's got a 9-5 record, 2-4-8 ERA. And who just went yard here? Ryan Mountcastle with a three-run shot. Off of Dylan Cease, too. Noah Syndergaard, Angels edition. 88 out of 99. Looks like the Angels are up for sale. Wonder if, uh, wonder if should Jaspies make a, make a bid on future Angels ownership? I think Forbes has that franchise valued at over uh, a little over two billion dollars. I'm not sure. I think Jaspies will fall a little tiny bit short. We have to sell out a lot more uh, tier one dual case breaks. There's Manny Machado, 141 out of 249. And that is for Martin in the San Diego Padres. We don't want the Angels? I don't know. It's a big market, a lot of value, big fan base. Two oh four out of two ninety nine. You know, I don't know. Steve Garvey Dodgers, Adam with the Dodgers. And there's Josiah Gray, former Dodger, ninety seven out of two ninety nine. That's from Matthew in the Nationals. They never go to the playoffs. That, that's why owners buy teams, right? For their teams to go to the playoffs. I'll bet you that you can make that a pretty profitable franchise without going to the playoffs. Two ninety three out of three ninety nine. Michael Brantley, Astros. It's for Martin. Very cool, very fluid. 
You play to win the game, not owners, Chad. That's, that's been pretty clear. Look across the, the, the professional sporting landscape. Taylor McGill to 299. Michael Brantley goes to Martin and the Astros and the Taylor McGill. Tyler McGill goes to the Mets, Karen. Tori Hunter, 120 out of 199. Minnesota Twins, Travis A. with that one. Artie Moreno, when he sells that team, is definitely going to win the. Uh, he's definitely going to win the business game. What did he buy? How much do you think he bought the Angels for? He bought him from Disney. He bought the team for Disney for $180 million. Now the franchise is valued, uh, not that it's going to sell for this, but it's valued at over $2 billion. $73 out of $399, Lorenzo Cain. <laughs> That'll be a big tax bill. Yeah, what, what's, uh, is there some sort of capital gains tax on that, Chad? For the Brewers, that's going to be for Justin. There's Kyle Muller, 244 at 299 for the Braves. That'll be for Martin. I'm sure Artie Moreno will make out just fine even after taxes. And there's Fergie Jenkins, 22 out of 199, a classic Cub for Anthony in Chicago. Right, Chad, okay, Chad doesn't deal with the do sales of professional sports teams on a day-to-day -day basis, so he will refrain from a, a comment. Now, does, does, this, does, does this potential sale of the Angels, does that make it more or less likely that players like Trout and or Otani will get traded? Those are the two big stars on that team. There's the big unit. 14 out of 399, Randy Johnson, the Yankees edition for uh, for Jeremy. Call now for your free 2022 Tyler Glass now 292 out of 299. Rob with the Rays. Oh, Ty's gonna be a mariner to that question, just really trout. There's Burr Blylevin, Twins Edition, 20 out of 25. Yeah, that oh, the Otani question is going to be interesting. Because I think Otani's only on a two year deal. Yeah, he's got an arbitration year for 2023, and then he's an unrestricted free agent in 2024, his age 29 season. Greg, what's going on? How are you? My guess is that the Angels will will just let him, will have to go, if, if Otani doesn't sign an extension, I guess they'll do another one-year deal on an arbitration deal, his ARB three year. And then trade them mid-season if uh, if they're not doing well next year. Before he hits unrestricted free agency. Rafael Devers, 14 out of 299. But if you're Moreno and you're selling the team, maybe your pitch is, hey, I'm leaving you with... Uh, I'm leaving you with... Mike Trout and Shohei Otani.
There's Lars Nootbar. 10 out of 10. Silver Ink Auto. Yes, Ryan, I think you got it. Yeah, we're giving away seven cereal box spots and then uh, mixer spots. I think we did a... Uh, I think we did one of those yesterday. So you can watch that video from yesterday to get an idea. It's a local kid. He uh, went to El Segundo High School, about 20 minutes north of us here in Hermosa Beach. Uh, that goes to Travis M. and the Cardinals. And then we got Altuve, 120 out of 125. Martin with the Astros. All right, next box. Greg saying if they trade him, I highly doubt he goes to the Mariners. I don't think he gets traded this year. Or maybe not until middle of 2023, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe he does get traded. Yeah, Otani definitely said last offseason that he that he, he wants to be in the playoffs. He, he's, he's a competitor. He wants to be in the playoffs. He wants to play the best of the best. Greg doesn't see it because uh, he doesn't think the Angels will trade trade him within division. Yeah, if the, if it's a trade situation, yeah, I think the Angels will probably ask for will probably want the Mariners to overpay for Otani if they're going to move him in division. I think the Mariners' best shot is waiting for you know for free agency and then just backing up the Brinks truck. Rays, that'll be for Rob in the Rays. Nelson Cruz Rays edition. Logan Gilbert, speaking of the Mariners, 166 out of 299. Exactly, yeah. Free agency is going to be where uh, is where the Mariners will have a pretty strong shot. I agree. Uh, that'll be for Martin and the M's, and we got Randy Arzarena, 141 out of 299. That'll be Rob and the Rays. Right, so yeah, it'll be a pretty interesting offseason for, uh, for Shohei Otani and the Angels. I'm sure the Angels would love to extend him. <laughs> I'm sure the Angels would be like, hey, you know. Or maybe the ownership change does force Otani's hand. Juan Soto, the Nationals are also, uh, excuse me, drinking a little coffee here. Uh, Nationals are also going through an ownership change, and I think that's one of the reasons um, why Juan Soto was not willing to sign that extension because of the uncertainty over the ownership situation. Who knows what the commitment to the team will be, what their future philosophy is. One out of 25, Dylan Carlson, dual relic, a little bit of the maybe the beak or the feet of the Cardinal right here. That's really cool. Travis M with the Redbirds. He has Monty Grandal, 248 out of 299. That's for the White Sox, Chris Lombardo. White Sox. And Jordan Alvarez, 33 out of 50. Astros. That's going to go to Martin and Houston. All right, a few more boxes and then another case. So if you're thinking, oh man, there's not a lot of boxes left, I don't have a hit yet, don't worry, we got another case right here. Brian Peoples, what's going on? Yeah, thanks Nationals, Brian Peoples says. Padres fan, of course. Right, and Eddie pointing out, plus, Nats are known for deferring huge percentages of their contracts to later years, which... A lot of players don't appreciate. Yeah, Chad's thinking Otani could be, he sees him getting traded this offseason. Playing him one year with whatever team, because it would be, a, it'd be arbitration. And then going to free agency. Yeah, I think Otani wants to test free agency. There's early win. Nice, 128 out of two, 149. Old game used jersey right here. Look at that. That's pretty cool from back in the day. Cleveland, this is for you. Jeremy Taylor with 
Cleveland. Speaking of the Nationals, there's Mason Thompson. 11 out of 299. Matthew Wood with the Nats. And Larry Walker. Great autograph, great penmanship. Uh, that's 55 out of 175. Tier 1 talent auto for Colorado. Nestor with the Rockies. Next one. Extra relic in here. Yeah, Greg says, yeah, may, it might make more sense to trade trade him at trade Otani at this point. Get a haul, rebuild. 21 at 399, Christian Yelich, piece of his jersey. Justin with the Brewers. Alex Kirilov, 174 out of 299. Twins, that's going to go to Travis A. There's Alfonso Rivas, 114 out of 299 for the North Siders. Anthony with Chicago Cubs. And Matt Olson, 101 out of 299, Oakland A's. That's for Martin and the A's. A's edition of Matt Olson. Final box of the doubleheader. This is just the first game. Eddie's thinking, hey, Otani would look great in a Philly uniform. But he's saying hang up the phone when they ask for Andrew Painter. Painter on his way to being the top prospect in the game. I mean, if you're moving to Otani, I think they're going to be asking for that, that caliber of player. There's Juan Soto National Edition, 38 out of 249. Although, with not very many controllable years, I wonder what, uh, maybe you actually get Otani at a bargain? Hmm. There's Reese Nair for the Padre, 239 out of 299. That's gonna be for Martin and the Friars. I would assume that the Padres are gonna sign o uh, Soto to a long-term deal, right, after moving up that that big crop of prospects. There's Vlad Guerrero Sr., 58 out of 125. Remember, Expo stuff goes to the Nationals. That'll be for Matthew in the Nats. All right, hey. Another case. Let's play two, as Ernie Banks would say. Andrew Painter apparently debut in double A at 19 years old, struck out eight in a shutout. Wow. It's Brian De La Cruz at 399. Greg's not a Brewers guy, but he they could give us some young pitching and add Otani to that lineup would help a lot. Uh, that's for the fish. Martin with the Marlins. There's Lorenzo Cain, speaking of the Brewers, 206 out of 399. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, I think really anybody could use an Otani in their lineup, right? There's Davey Garcia, 107 out of 199. Yankees, that'll be for Jeremy. And there's Kyle Tucker, 154 out of 299. Now, 
Otani's thought, I don't know what his thinking is. Maybe his opinion has changed, but, but I think he prefers the West Coast. I don't know if his feelings have changed on that. I don't think there's been any reporting on that. But I think when he was being courted, he was initially coming to the United States, there were, I don't know if he ever specifically said it, but I think the reports were strong that, that hey, he wants to be on the West Coast. Now, actual quote from Walatani last season was, hey, he wants to play in the playoffs. He wants playoff baseball. So is he gonna is he gonna get that consistent playoff uh, looks as a Brewer? Does he want to go to Milwaukee? I don't know. Three seventy out of three ninety nine. CC Sabathia. That's for the Yankees. That's gonna be Jeremy Port. Bren Lau, ninety four out of two ninety nine for the Rays. It's going to go to Rob in Tampa Bay. Pete Alonzo, 15 out of 199. You can give who all of Bueller's money. Walker Bueller's going to be fine if that's what you're if you're implying that. He's going to get a nice deal. He'll be fine. Karen with the Mets. Dodgers actually have a lot of money coming off the books. Oh, Otani? Yeah, Dodgers actually will have a lot of money for Otani. I think he will be just fine. Well, it, it, yeah, even after the surgery, it's, it's, you, get a, you get a nice bargain for Walker Bueller. Bueller. I think the Dodgers will retain him. It's Anthony Rizzo for the Yankees. Going to Jeremy. Luis Gill, also for Jeremy. Justin Clement would like to see uh, Otani on the East Coast. And Joe Carter, 272 out of 299. Are not welcome in Philadelphia, Joe Carter. Here's Toronto, Martin for the Blue Jays. Greg would love to see his Giants get Otani, but he doesn't see him uh, see the Giants trading the farm for him. But is he is it going to require the farm, or is it going to be a lot less than we think? Because his 2023 is arbitration three, right? Which I'm sure the Angels will pursue. And then he's an unrestricted free agent. I guess if you get assurances that from Otani that, hey, we'll avoid arbitration, sign you to an extension, then maybe he'll say, yeah. I don't know. I think it'll be one of the fun storylines of the offseason. 141 out of 399, Mike Piazza. Padres edition of Mike Piazza. Brian Peoples is a big Padres guy. What are your memories of Mike Piazza as a Padre? That'll go to Martin and the Padres. I always forget about Mike Piazza as a Padre. It was a one-year deal, right? There's Mason Thompson, 54 out of 299 Nationals. Brian Peebles remembers very little. Past his prime Piazza. Well, it was in 2006. Allegedly, there was a little bit of a revival for Piazza, according to Wikipedia. He hit 283 with 22 home runs. They won a division title that year. Got his 2000th hit as a Padre. Ooh, nice Jesse Winker. He's a winker. Six out of ten. Nice patch. Nice auto. Red legs. Martin with the reds. Nice. 
Ryan, for obvious reasons, you never liked him. Yeah, it'd be like, I don't know what it'd be like. It'd be like Madison Bumgarner maybe going to the Dodgers or something like that. I don't want to see that. All right, next box. Yeah, I do too. And then I guess he went to the A's as a free agent in 2000, late 2006. And then uh, after, uh, after not being signed to any MLB team for the 2008 season, he announces a retirement in May. And there you go. What what is he what is he doing these days? Married, has kids. Oh, uh, I don't know. It doesn't say what he's doing these days. I guess he went to soccer team ownership. He 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 owned an Italian soccer team. Didn't work out. Anyway, there's Larry Walker, 228 out of 299. Was there a, a what? I, I was kind of half watching the game while I was breaking, but what did Oral Hirsch have to say about the Padres? Larry Walker, Rockies, Nestor. Another Jesse Winker autograph for Martin and the Reds. Nice. And Austin Riley, nice. 194 at 299. Got, got a nice little contract extension. Braves locking up their youngsters. It's for Martin and the Braves. I, know, I like Oral Hershiser, but, but uh, definitely... Sometimes can be a little heavy-handed on the on the you know being a homer. I get it. He love he loves the organization. They've been good to him. You know that he loves the Dodgers, but he can get a little homery at times. A lot of times. Oh, essentially says the good thing is that if we, that if we the Dodgers lose tonight, it's good for the Brewers and it hurts the Padres. I mean, he, he's a Dodger broadcaster. What do you expect? Two forty-three out of three ninety-nine. Phillies, Chad O. And Luke Williams, use the force, Luke. Nine out of 25, gold ink autograph, rookie for the Phillies, Chad O. Yeah, I don't know what the what the, what is what Oral's motivation was that was for that. And a dual relic and auto, David Peralta. I like how the the cyan color really pops in that window. 23 out of 25. That's Rob with the Diamondbacks. Yeah, it does seem a little odd. I don't know. Maybe Oral Hershiser was trying to play to a play up the. I mean, it's, it's a Homer comment. I feel like it's just kind of playing that up. Nobody likes the Dodgers besides their fans. I know a lot of Dodgers fans around the country. There's a lot of them out there. 291 out of 399, Justin Verlander. I mean, really, the, the, there's more of... I've lived in San Diego long enough and L.A. long enough to know... Um, to know that a lot more Padres fans consider the Dodgers a rival than the other way around.
Martin with the Astros. Rogers Hornsby, 41 out of 149. Uh, that'll be for, that's Cubs Rogers Hornsby, by the way. That goes to Anthony. Cubs Roger Hornsby. Rogers Hornsby played for the Cubs? I do not remember that. I definitely remember Rogers Hornsby when he was a Cardinal, I guess, uh, when I was growing up watching him as a St. Louis Cardinal from 1915 to 1926. But he played with the Cubs from 29 to 32, for whatever that's worth. The manager for the Cardinals for a couple of years, too. Was he a player manager? I think he might have been a player manager as well. Anyway, so that's Cubs edition. That'll go to Anthony. Another Cub, Nick Madrigal, 116 out of 199. Do you think Nick Madrigal even moved? Think he lives in the same spot as he did when he was a White Sox. That goes to Anthony and the Cubs. And there's Raleigh Finger, 17 out of 25 A's. That's going to be for Martin and the A's. All right, next box. You know, I have a feeling that in a couple of years or so, the, the NL West could look a lot like the AFC West. Because the Diamondbacks have a young crop of players coming up the ranks that seem to be really good. There's Chris Bryant, Giants edition to 399. That'll go to Travis A. So all the teams in, in the NL West could be vying for a playoff spot. Alex Kirilov, 180 out of 299 for the Twins. That's going to go to Travis A. And we got AJ Alexi, 255 out of 299 for the Rangers. Adam with Texas. Sort of a disappointing season for the Rangers, right? I think, I think they were, the team and their fan base were expecting a little bit, a little bit more success than a 55 and 66 season. 21 and a half games back of the Astros and 10 games back of a wild card spot. Fired their manager a little while ago. 68 out of 175, Larry Walker, Colorado, Nestor. Yeah, Greg's a little shocked how good the Padres roster is on paper that they don't have a much better record. I mean, 68 wins, that would put them, that would put them, uh, I mean, they'd almost be winning the NL Central with 68 wins. They'd be, they'd be third in the NL East, they'd be second in the AL West, they'd lead the AL Central, second in the AL East. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good record, it's just that some other teams are just, uh, just that much hotter. But that expanded wild card system makes it pretty interesting, though. The NL Atlanta's eight games ahead in the wild card spot, so I think they're going to be they're going to be fine. They yeah, still have a, they still have a chance to make the uh, still have a chance to win the division too. Philadelphia and San Diego, and then one and a half games back are the Brew Crew. Nolan Arenado to 249. Yeah, so now, now, now that Oral Hershiser comment, yeah, Brian, I agree. Why, 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 why create bulletin board material? The Dodgers already have a target on their back. There's Arenado uh, for Travis M and the Cardinals. 
Tyler Gilbert for the Diamondbacks. 10 out of 10. Silver ink autograph for Rob. Yeah. Just, just as a... Speaking from a non-Dodger perspective, I, I really like the Josh Bell edition too. Soto obviously is great. There's Donnie Baseball, 61 out of 100 for Jeremy and the Yankees, but getting Josh Bell was pretty solid. Definitely, definitely an upgrade in that position. All right, three boxes to go. We may as well take a look at the AL wild card race too. Tampa Bay is a half game ahead in the wild card race. Toronto and Seattle currently occupy wild card spots. And the Orioles, two and a half games back of a wild card spot. The Twins, three back from a wild card spot. White Sox, four back from a wild card spot. And even Boston, maybe in the mix, six games back. Might be a little bit more of a stretch for the Red Sox, but yeah, Giants, six and a half games back of a wild card spot. I feel like there's got to be a lot of uh, Giants Padres games in the last month of the season, right? There's got to be some, in the sort of division weighted schedule era. There's a chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. That'll be for the Braves, that'll be for Martin. There's Jared Kalanick for the Mariners to 199. I don't know, there, there could be a lot of exciting uh, exciting storylines by the end of the season. That extra wild card spot really makes things spicy. Eloy Jimenez, 123-029. Oh, sorry, the Jared Kalanick, by the way, goes to the Mariners, Martin and the Mariners. And Chris Lombardo has the White Sox, gets the Eloy Jimenez. Here's a team that I thought would be a lot better. It looks great on paper, but the White Sox... Are, uh, well, they're four games back of a wild card spot. And uh, and three back of the division, so they, they could still make a make a hot finish here, but but I, I thought they'd be leading the division at this point. They're only a couple games back though, actually, a lot closer than I thought. Gotcha. Greg saying we only play the Padres once, but we do see the Brewers and Phillies, so, so they're direct competition for a wild card spot. Mike, what's going on? How are you? Mike K in the house. Good to see you. There's Ernie Clement. Justin's brother? Maybe? 56 out of uh, 399. Cleveland, this is for you. Goes to, uh, goes to uh, Jeremy Taylor from the Guardians. Could be Justin's brother. We got Amaris Ramirez to 299. Tier 1 talent auto for the Cubs, Anthony. We got Jared Kalanick, different uniform here, 156 out of 199. Maybe a different autograph, too. Different autograph set. It looks like same autograph set. Well, let's take a look. Variation maybe? They're both breakout autographs, but one must be a variation, right? One must be home jersey, away jersey, something like that. All right. Next one, both of those Jared Kalanicks for Martin and the Mariners. Ah, end of, end of season, Padres. All right, Brian, who's, who's our Padres guy, says we've been unbelievably inconsistent, offensively mostly. Ten runs here, one the next, rinse, repeat. Well, let's see. Reds and Phillies are scoreless. Giants are leading the Tigers 1-0 in Detroit. Padres are hosting the Guardians tonight, and the Dodgers are hosting the Brewers. There's Mickey, Miguel Cabrera, 3 out of 25. Martin and the Tigers. 
think he's got one or two more years left on his deal. I think he said he's going to keep going. Maybe the resurgence of Albert Pujols is, uh, gives, gives Miguel Cabrera a little extra juice, perhaps. I feel like he's chasing one more milestone. He's got the 3,000 hits. He's got 506 home runs. Hmm. Well, no, he's got... Anyway, yeah, I think he's going to play some more. I think he hit those milestones. Jackson Kowar, 132 out of 299. I think the hits milestone... Is that ever in doubt? Maybe not. Jackson Coar for Kansas City. That's for Nestor. And last but not least is Jose Abreu. 18 out of 149. Chris Lombardo, White Sox. Thanks, everybody. That was 2022 Tops Tier 1 Baseball. Double header, a dual case break. Random team number four. We got another double header in the store if you want to run this back. I love the tier one. A lot of potential for some nice hits, some great autographs, really clean looking set. A great part of, should be a great part of anyone's collection. Their, uh, their trading card portfolio should have some tier one in there, I think. Some old school guys, new school guys, some nice patches, good relics, silver ink, gold ink. Sometimes boxes have bonus relics, that's nice. Jersey autos, that triple autograph, that was pretty sweet. Pedro, Big Poppy, Jason Veritek. And then we saw this case, but we'll show you again. So that was the first case, and here's the second case from the, uh, from the last box going backwards to the first box. Really nice stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Another doubleheader in the store, and Uh, and there's a couple fillers for it too. So if you don't want to pay full price, you can try uh, maybe chasing a spot in a filler, try to win a spot for a fraction of the price. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Great talking baseball with everybody. Um, keep breaking baseball with us all season long and through the playoffs. We love to talk baseball, rip baseball, all that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.